the village itself is in a, a, a Paraki Naturale. It's a Nature 2000 European uh, protected zone. And actually around our protected zone of Karsten Yeso, as it's known, we have a secondary protection, protected zone. And um, the, the um, corridors of biodiversity, this is the, the way that the species move up and down the river. Well, the corridors of bi biodiversity are, are, are by the river. The, the river is essential, water is essential. What is the problem? Well, we can see here the, the, the condition of the water through the aquifers of Almeria province. That's why we can broaden this to the whole province. Estado quantitivo, well, that means how much water is that? Malestado means bad condition. Estado chimico, malestado, bad condition. Okay, so that's a pretty impressive amount of red on that. Sort out this problem of bad quantity, over-exploitation, and invasion of nitrates into the water. So we go on, there we got the map actually showing the surface area, all those red zones. It's the right-hand side of the map there, that's the Almeria side. Those red zones, they show the situation of over-exploited water supplies. Inherent rights of Mother Earth. Well, the right to water is a source of life. And the right to be free from contamination, pollution, toxic or radioactive waste. Now, what's been happening over the years, in actual fact since 1998, but in the more recent years we've had more exploitation. We see the flow of the water changes. It comes down to where you see these boreholes. So in Los Molinos del Rio Agua Spring, we have less and less water. In 2010, there was found radon and uranium was found in the drinking water of three municipalities. Now just two weeks ago, I was reading in the, in the newspaper, which really alerted me to what was going on, that those same three municipalities now um, have purification plants, they're some of the most advanced in Europe, uh, to remove this natural occurring radiation. And also, which is fairly much under the table in Almeria, there are 13 other plants removing radiation from the water. We're exploiting our aquifers to the extent that we're encountering um, natural radiation in the water, which is now being used to um, to water olive plantations and the plastic houses. It's not actually dangerous uh, in the sense that radon has a half-life of three days. The radioactivity of radon isn't actually taken up in the plants or it's such a minor amount that I don't want to be standing here causing panic about the food products of Almeria. But in this tribunal I want to put the case that what happens when we take all the higher water is that we run into lower water and it is it is contaminated. So what's causing the problem? Basically, it's, um, it's olive trees. We have 6 million olive trees planted at 1,800 trees per hectare. That is pretty outrageous. And also the point is that we've got 35,000 citizens. Now this presentation, I'm not just representing the citizens, you know, I'm representing um, the life of the flora, the fauna, the biodiversity, everything. And when we talk about nature, you know, we humans are a part of that. We tend to think of ourselves as being somehow senior to nature or some concept like that, but no, of course we're not. We are part of that biodiversity. So when I'm talking here, I'm talking on behalf of, of life. Over-exploitation at the source of the river here um, biodiversity hotspot, this is a biodiversity hotspot, it is unique in Europe. Uh, Ian will, will talk about the flora and fauna, he is absolutely the expert on that, so I'll leave that to him, yeah. Uh, we are uh, in the experience of a, of a changed climate. I, I've, I'm not using the word climate change, because we're past climate change, we are now in a changed climate. Uh, I want to be accurate with the words we use around the fact that the climate has changed. Uh, we no longer get regular rainfall. Uh, so far this year we've had 181 litres per square metre. That is not very much. A desert climate uh, starts to be a desert climate under 200 litres, okay? So, actually that was taken last year. This year it's a little bit more green because we had 
at the end of August, we had a very lucky 64 liters per square meter, and we had a kind of, um, how we say, a spring in autumn. But that, that gives you a very good idea of the countryside we're talking about where we grow six million olive trees, completely insane. It's time for us to present it. This tribunal will assist us in, to empower us to present this to municipalities who are receiving money from six million olive trees. <laughs> you see the problem, it's called corruption. Olive plantations, this is a beauty. We're going to see how, what six million olive trees look like. Environmental damage, well you've seen that, it's basically an ecocide. Without water there's no social or economic development. We're looking towards the complete draining of the aquifer within a year or two years and, and a total catastrophe. Economic financial losses, okay. There's going to be financial losses to the gross domestic pro uh, 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 product of Almeria. Either with stopping six million olive trees or letting them go on. Because when the water runs out, the money runs out. This is the last olive harvest for one more year of six million olive trees. Our area will be in a critical and disastrous situation. Ultima Aguas is the water turning into money and dissolving into skeletons. Thank you very much.